Beyonce's real age is revealed, Star Wars The Force Awakens is attacked by racist trolls and Lamar Odom wakes up from his coma. Hi and welcome to this week's A-List Insider. Conspiracy theories about Beyonce's age have been floating around for years and now her estranged father, Matthew Knowles, has added some fuel to the flames. The singer is listed as being born on the 4th of September 1981, which would make her 34 years old. But speaking to The Breakfast Club, her dad and former manager said that the drunken love hitmaker was in fact the same age as Pink, who's 36 years old. It's only two years, you say? Well, in the music industry, two years is a big deal. Considering Beyonce's relationship with her father hasn't been the same since she fired him as her manager in 2011, I don't know what to believe. So what do you think? A slip of the tongue? Bad memory? Or is he trying to put Queen B on blast? Meanwhile, some Star Wars fans are up in arms about the forthcoming film and have created a boycott hashtag because they think the film is anti-white propaganda. You may recall that back in February 2013, director J.J. Abrams addressed questions about the diverse cast, saying that he deliberately wanted to change the things in both the industry and the genre by having a more rounded bag of actors. However, not everyone is looking forward to the chance to revisit a multicultural galaxy far, far away. According to critics, the film hasn't stuck to the originals because the lead character is black. Hashtag boycott Star Wars 7 because this is an anti-white propaganda promoting white genocide ran one tweet from an account calling itself End Culture Marxism. Star Wars The Force Awakens will premiere on the 17th of December in the UK. And finally, former NBA star Lamar Odom has woken up from his coma and is currently undergoing treatment after being found unconscious at a Las Vegas brothel. You may know that Khloe Kardashian's ex was found unresponsive at the Love Ranch in Nevada on the 30th of October, where he had spent a reported $75,000 during a week of partying with two prostitutes. But after fighting for his life in intensive care for days, he is now said to be doing much better and showing huge improvements. He was airlifted from the Sunrise Hospital to Cedar Soleil Medical Centre in LA on Monday. Chloe has remained by his side since news broke off his hospitalisation and the reality star is expected to stand by him as he gets back on his feet. Well that's all for now, before all your latest showbiz news, please visit ibtimes.co.uk forward slash entertainment.